Di, di, di. Hi folks, camera is rolling. It is the 12th of October. And as you can see, I am back from my travels. Yes, I um, disappeared for a while and was over in Europe seeing family and friends and catching up on my old house that I got in Spain that needed a visit because it hadn't been visited in eight years. So it was rather dusty, dirty, cobwebby, etc. So yes, anyway, it certainly was good to, to see friends and family. I haven't actually been across for, to England for about five years. So yeah, it was kind of long overdue. So we spent some quality time with my son and daughter and um, etc. Anyway, warm welcome on a not a very warm day here in Pennsylvania. Today, the weather has changed and gone to kind of cold compared to what it has been. Yeah, when I got back from, uh, when I got off the plane actually at Pittsburgh, the windows of the airplane, they kind of fogged over with, with humidity. It was so humid. Anyway, yes. Yes, so yeah, I've missed uh, getting my hands dirty in the clay. I haven't been, haven't been doing any potting at all while I was away. And um, so I wondered when I came back here in the studio whether I'd still remember how to do it. Well, these things, once you learn them, you don't forget them, do you, really? So yeah, no, it's certainly good today to be back into the clay and getting on the wheel and you know, you miss it, don't you, when you haven't done it for a while and you know, you sort of you sort of feel out of sorts with yourself, I sometimes think. And um, it's just great to get back on this old revolving wheel. So what am I doing? Uh, right now, I'm just in the middle of I'll just I'll just show you these that I've made, so you're up to speed, so to speak. These are, I just thought um, I'll make some, these actually are tumblers. They're basically, yeah, I just wanted to make uh, something simple that didn't involve putting on handles. And then I thought, well, yeah, why not just make some tumblers? I haven't made any of them for a while. So, yeah, let's just get right into doing a few of these. These are 14 ounces and they are thrown, they are thrown uh, six and a quarter high and they are three and a quarter at the top. Okay, for those of you who want to to know the details. There's always somebody who wants to know the details. Well, Simon, what way to clay are you? <laughs> yeah, now that's, that's it, 14 ounces. They're not really thrown. I'm not trying to make them like wafer thin. Uh, I could get more, than, more out of the clay than I am, but I don't want to, you know what I mean? Because you then you make, the, make them too light and then they become rather fragile. So, yeah, I'm just... Yeah, get it back on the wheel. The healing wheel. You centre the clay, but the clay centres you. So true. Yeah, so these are basically just cylinders, aren't they? That we have then basically changed, just changed the shape. But I'm using the skills of cylinder throwing, which is what pottery is really. <laughs> It's just a 
is what you're really using. Getting that clay up there, you see. So I've got a gauge set here. <clears throat> I'm not going to get my head in the way, which can happen. Let me just move that a little bit that way. Yeah. Well, I hope you've all been well and prospering and that you're all in good health. And you've been out there practicing. Well, that goes without saying. So getting down here. I suppose they could be used as beer glasses or just just felt, I just fancied making something simple. I thought, oh, let's just get back into doing some throwing, you know. Get back into the groove. What am I going to throw? And then I, I thought, I know I'm going to throw some tumblers. Because I'm not going to need handles. Yippee! No handles. And And also, they're raw fired, once fired, so it's a kind of simple... Well, everything I'm doing these days is raw fired, but... Let's just measure that a sec. This to be six and a quarter. It's just a, a tiny bit down, very, very tiny bit. If you're throwing to a gauge, just be careful you don't hit the gauge. Like that. Yeah, they're sort of like a little bit a little bit wasted lower down here, so you can get your hand around them, you see. The idea. Da, da, da. And they are supposed to be three and a quarter at the top. That's just a rough. I don't worry. I don't usually measure the tops too much. Unless and unless they're looking wildly out, you know, then I'll maybe I sort of I just judge them. by eye, so to speak, eyeball. So that's that, okay. Leather. I'll bring the camera down in a minute, we'll do another one. I think it's very good to see things thrown to a gauge one after another, you know, like a, not just one part, but Seven. All right, so clean the wire, taut down on the wheel head with the wheel going around and straight through. And voila. Okay, let's just bring the camera down for a bit of detail. So that's the sort of shape. This lens on this camera is a little bit wide angle and it's sort of like it alters slightly the perception. If I bring the camera back and then zoom it in, you don't get that quite so much. So they were slightly, very slightly flared out on the lip actually. I might vary that though. Um, 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 um. Okay, let's lift him off. So I can lift him off like that, but because he's 
he's coming out here. I'm actually going to grab him right like that, you see. Slightly underneath. i pull him there. Yeah. That looks okay. Right, let's get that camera. Let's wind, wind him down a bit on the tripod. Hang on. Hey, we're going to get a different a different angle from there. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Might be less chance of my hat getting in the way as well. So at this point I'm breaking in and that's the time you really want to judge the thickness through through the base to the wheel head, you know. And now just widening him out a little bit like that. Form the base there at the bottom. Now I kind of squidge him in like that. Always try and throw these kind of forms in a conical fashion. So, I mean, keep them narrower at the top. You see? Now, getting right underneath it, finding that lifting point, and just pull them up. So, as always, as always, I'm not throwing too fast. The wheel is not going very fast. But I'm getting the lift speed quite brisk, okay? That's so that the, the water that I'm applying here, right there, which runs down off of both my fingers, you see? When I put the water there like that, and onto the pot, because these two fingers are touching the pot. They've got to be touching when you do that, okay? So, with the wheel speed not too much, and a fairly brisk lift, and with water being applied exactly where it's wanted, okay, I can manage to do a lift from the bottom all the way out to the top without running out of water. And that is a, a pretty common occurrence for people, that they run out of water because they run out of water, then they hit a dry spot. And the pot falls apart, <laughs> so to speak, you know? So what I'm doing in these sort of lifting here, I'm sort of like, I'm lifting, but I'm, I'm kind of shaping as well, you see, as I go. So I'm lifting now and I'm, I'm conscious that it needs to be a little narrower here and then now as I come up I'm widening it, you see I'm coming out a touch. And now I'm just about to hit the gauge. So I better be careful. Yeah, now these can have a, a slightly flared out top or not. I'm um, sort of being a little bit open about that. If you have a flared out top, it's very slight, it's nicer to drink out of, but if you have a flared out top, it's more likely to get chipped. So you have to think about those things, don't you? So down to the bottom here again, just So these I'm sort of being a little bit open-minded about whether I really flare them out at the top there. Um, 
six and a quarter. Spot on. So using my throwing stick here, just coming down the side there, touch, just like that. Removing a little bit of the clay there, putting in a bevel. Yeah, I'm looking in my mirror over there, and my mirror is telling me it just needs a slight alteration here. A little bit wider just there, a bit more belly. A little bit more belly, sir. Yes, please. So the way I'm going to finish these off, uh, uh, well, one of the ways I thought was to, I'm going to do that, um, an impressed, an impressed design with my finger right on the very bottom. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, on a very slight sort of, I don't know, medieval feel about these. I don't want them actually to be too, too carefully made, if you know what I mean. Um, I want them to be a little bit, slapdash is not the word. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I didn't cut that off, did I? I better cut it off while, it's, while I remember. So, yeah, what I want to do is, I think I've got, oh, no, I haven't. This one doesn't have it, I thought it did. But anyway, right right here, you see at the bottom, you see, well, this one's got a, uh, an impressed design. But what you do is you just get your thumb and you push it in like this, you see. I might do an impressed design like that, though, as well on these, some of them. Um, let me just pull that in a touch. Yeah, I don't want to make them too, I was just thinking, oh, we better be careful, Simon, don't make them too narrow in the foot here, because they'll be kind of topply, you know, uh, liable to get knocked over, because they're, most of the weight is higher up here, where there'll be more volume of liquid, you see. Let's just get him off, and we'll do one more quickly. Um, Just check that camera and make sure he's all okay. Yeah, this is actually, I think, quite a good angle. Give me your feedback. Tell me what you think. Yes, um, 14 ounces of clay. But bear in mind that these will, of course, shrink like all pots. So they'll be a little bit smaller than what they appear at the minute. They seem to have an air bubble. All right, so Form the bot the base and now lift up the up the cone. The, you see what I'm doing here? I'm pushing like that. Uh, uh. It's like a scissor action. So outside hand is pushing in, the inside hand is pushing out, just a very little bit, just to create that, that bulge, you see, because that bulge is what's going to help us to, because we're going to get underneath that bulge and lift up the clay, you see. So nice slow wheel speed. 
You see, the, if you have a slower wheel speed, you know what it's going to do for you. It's going to do you. It's going to do you a favour. It's going to make your water last longer. All right. Just think of it like that. The faster your wheel speed, the more quickly you're going to lose your lubricating water. So it makes sense not to have a wheel going at 100 miles an hour because you're just going to run dry <laughs> sooner than you sooner than you know it you're going to be dry okay so we've already got the bulge there you see because I've already incorporated that as I did that as I did the lift okay and up we come and now looking for the form widening looking for the gauge narrowing at the top here so we don't smack the gauge which is all too easy to do done it myself a few times I can tell you but I try, I try not to <laughs> Try not to, right, okay. Check it in the mirror. Get yourself a mirror. If you haven't got a mirror yet, after all my rants about getting a mirror, and there's still some of you out there who don't throw with a mirror, shame on you, that's all I can say. <laughs> Go get one. <laughs> Seriously, you, you will not regret it. I have people come here on workshops and they're all the time telling me, my gosh, Simon, the mirror is such a good thing. Even if I came, if I learnt nothing else than just to use a mirror, they say. As they say in Spanish, vale la pena. Certainly worth it. Okay, just in the shape right there as I want it la, la, la. it's just a what is a tumbler anyway it's just a thing to put liquid in isn't it I mean we can make them just straight cylindrical if you want to well it's nice to have something a bit different isn't it we don't just have straight cylinders I mean we we could have something a little bit more elegant you see Part. Okay, cut off wire, clean him, wheel going slowly and through. All right, well, there you go. Another one bites the dust. I'm grabbing him like that, you see. Because of the, f the form of the pot allows me to do that in this case. If he was more cylindrical, I would. I, I would probably go like this. Okay, folks. Well, I hope that's... Let's see if we can wind this up a touch. Wind the fellow up. Yeah, I hope that's been fun and instructive for you. Here they are, all are. They all look wild in shape because of the camera. But... Um, the, the uh, narrow angle, or the wide angle, I should say. Yeah. Thanks for dropping by. Please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. We have, I have a workshop coming up. We just had a workshop. Last weekend we had a workshop, yeah. Um, so big hello to all those people who were on the workshop. We had a good time, there were five of us. Uh, we have another workshop on the 20th and 21st of October here. And I had somebody cancel on me, so we're down to only have three people. All right, so I have space for two or three more people. So if, that, if, if, if you're one of those people who think is thinking about coming has thought about it and you're free this weekend then um, then drop by write to me 
and come and join us. Okay, folks, thanks for joining me, and as always, keep practicing. <laughs> and we will see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.